That calendar has a rubber band around it, so I cannot access it. And earlier today, I asked someone to just think of a month and a day. Is that correct? Yes. And do you remember what month and what day you thought of? Yeah. Um, could you please announce out loud to us, what was the month and the day you thought of? Uh, February 7th. February 7th. You could have selected any month and any day from January to December. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And you selected February 7th. Now I'm going to ask you please to remove the rubber band from the calendar. And I'll ask you to open the calendar and as you kind of leaf through the calendar, what you're going to notice. Every day in that calendar has written in the space by hand a card. A suit. Is that correct? So cards are just randomly written down for every day of the year. You selected February 7th. And I'm going to ask you please to look at February, not 7th, February 6th. Okay. If you had selected February 6th, can you tell us what the card would have been? The Nine of Spades. The Nine of Spades. You did not select February 6th. However, did you? You selected February 7th. If you look at February 8th, what would the card be? The Ace of Clubs. Yes, the Ace of Clubs. However, you did not select February 8th, did you? Because you selected February 7th. Now what we're looking to see here today is do we have a sense of synchronicity? As a class, you all work together. As physicians, you will be working collegially with other physicians. You will refer patients to specialists and they to you. And so the key is that we're all on the same page together. Speaking of which, did you select one or two words? One word. Please do not tell us your word, but I ask if you would share out loud the first letter of your word. The letter V. The letter V in and of itself doesn't tell us a whole lot. It's not supposed to. However, however, it does remind us that when patients present to us, we get a piece of information and it goes into the chart. And the next time they come to us, we get another piece of information and it goes into the chart. And ultimately, we are creating this living movie of the patient's life. And the unconscious mind goes to a word that has meaning for us. And we know what the unconscious is because we talked about that during this course. Sigmund Freud gave us structural, he gave us the id, the ego, the superego. He gave us the topographical, conscious, preconscious, unconscious. And you see, the unconscious mind let us know that we're constantly filming our patients. Because you selected the word, if I am correct, please get excited, it is V-I-D-E-O, is video cassette, is that correct? It is. Very good. <laughs> please a round of applause for me. <laughs> and now we're looking to see if we have our synchronicity, our collegiality. You selected a date at random out of 365 days. And we shuffled a, car, a deck of cards, and you selected a card at random. Right now, we have no idea what card you selected. You haven't seen it, none of us have seen it. Would you please share out loud with us the card that is actually written on the date you selected at random? What is that card? The Six of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds. Would you please now, for the first time, show us what card you selected at random from the deck, totally unbeknownst to your colleague, what is the card that you selected at random? It is the <laughs> Six of Diamonds. Thank you all very, very much.